Education Galaxy presents Represent Integer Operation. We're going to explore adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing positive and negative numbers. Let's look at addition first. Take negative 4 plus 5 for example. Let's imagine a number line. Our first number is negative 4. So we want to start at negative 4 on the number line. Then, since it's plus, and I know that this is the negative side and this is the positive side, I'm going to put my person facing the positive side. Now, since I'm adding positive 5, I'm going to have her move forward 5 spaces. She ends up at 1, so negative 4 plus 5 equals 1. Another way I can model it is with black and red chips, where black is positive and red is negative. I want to start with negative 4, so 4 red chips. Then, since it's plus 5, I want to add 5 black ones. Each zero pair would cancel out, and I'm left with one black chip, which represents 1. In general, the rule is, if the signs are the same, add the absolute values of the numbers and keep the same sign. If the signs are different, subtract the absolute values and then keep the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. Now let's look at negative 6 plus negative 2. We're starting at negative 6. Since it's plus, we want to face the positive side. Then, since it's negative 2, we need to walk backwards two spaces. We end up at negative 8. So negative 6 plus negative 2 equals negative 8. Now let's use the black and red chips. We start with six negative chips, add two more negative chips. What do we get? Eight negative chips. So our answer is negative eight. Following the rule, since the signs are the same, we would add six plus two, which equals eight. And since they were both negative, our answer is negative. Let's check out subtraction now. Negative five minus three. So for our number line, we want to start at negative 5. We're subtracting this time, so we want to face the minus sign. And we're subtracting a positive number 3, so we want to walk forward 3 spaces. We land on negative 8, so our answer is negative 8. Now for our black and red chips model. We start with negative 5. We want to take away positive 3. But we don't have any. So let's add zero pairs, because adding zero doesn't change the value to a number, but adding the three pairs allow me to take away three black ones. Then I have eight red ones left, so my answer is negative eight. The rule for subtraction is kind of easy to remember. Keep, change, change. That's all you have to remember. So for the problem, we want to keep negative five, change the subtraction to addition, and change the positive 3 to negative. Then follow the addition rules. At negative 5 plus negative 3 equals negative 8. Let's try another subtraction problem. Negative 4 minus negative 6. So start with negative 4 on the number line. And since we're subtracting, we want to face the minus sign. And negative 6, so we have to walk backwards 6 units. We end up at positive 2. So negative 4 minus negative 6 is 2. Let's look at the red and black chips. We start with negative 4, and we want to take away negative 6. But we only have 4 to take away, so we need to add two zero pairs so that we'll have enough to take away 6 red chips. Once we take them away, we get two black chips, so our answer is positive 2. If we follow the rule, keep, change, change, we would keep the negative 4, change the subtraction to an addition sign, and change negative 6 to positive 6. Then add, and that also gives us positive 2. Lastly, let's check out multiplication and division. Take negative 3 times 3, for example. On the number line, we need to start at 0, and we need to move negative 3 3 times. We end up at negative 9. If we look at the black and red chips, we want three negatives, so red chips, and we want three sets of them. That gives us nine red chips, which is negative nine. And the rules for multiplying and dividing are, if numbers have the same sign, the answer is positive. If numbers have different signs, the answer is negative. And you multiply or divide just the same. 
you are now prepared to represent integer operations. This skill seems really hard at first, but the more you practice, the easier it gets, and pretty soon, you barely need to think and your brain just follows the rules without even thinking about it. One easy way to get that practice in is to practice in the car. Have your parent, sibling, or friend quiz you when you're on a long, boring car trip. Maybe even quiz your parents and see how well they do. Good luck!